thing turned out beautiful. There's Chad driving. See you at home. You got a truck to build, bud. We got to get moving. Where'd you go? All right, guys. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Wisconsin. Yeah, it feels warmer here than it did down there. Does that sound weird? Uh, there's no wind. But, no. Wow. Definitely a different kind of heat down there. <laughs> <laughs> um, wow. Um, I guess, first Man. of all, I'd like to start off by saying congratulations to all. There was yeah. there was some amazing trucks at the show this year. It was unbelievable. Yeah, yeah a lot of people we were close friends with did did very well yeah and uh yeah if we can personally congratulate them uh also congratulations to to evan he gets uh and it's cool. he gets looked looked by a lot and he's he's one down there that really makes a difference yeah, he, yeah. He, well it's not it, it's evan and his whole crew yeah i mean they they looked exhausted yeah. yesterday but oh, they yeah. did a great job they clean and clean and clean and clean and just when you think you're done, no, nope, you're not done. They come by and, and make sure you're you're good to go. They they really take care of you. And yeah. uh, hats off to those guys as well. Absolutely. Uh, Absolutely. No. Yeah. Um, and to all those that came up and said something to us about the channel, mm -hmm. and we really appreciate the compliments. We really yeah. appreciate the knowledge, yeah. the information yeah. you're giving us. We're going to continue to try our best here, and mm -hmm. hopefully after this build, we can continue on with some other ones and uh, see what we can come up with. I guess mm -hmm. maybe Chad will work on some square body stuff or something like that. Well, well, walking around down there, we might have found some work. Yeah. I don't know yeah. if you're too enthused about having me around more, but uh, if, if I can keep this truck going and make some money with it and work in the shop a little bit and keep you guys entertained and informed uh we're gonna certainly try it so uh we did get some ideas down there uh talk to a few people so some some things may be happening but uh that obviously is going to take a bit here we we just got to get back to normal and get things uh we gotta build get things couple. completed first we've got a couple projects we just need to get out of the way yeah yeah but in this video, uh, this mm -hmm. week, our goal is to try to get some mirrors on, try to get deck plates painted. Um, we're kind of at a standstill <laughs> till we get some rims so that we can move yeah. the truck to put a bunk on, but we're going to yeah. work towards that. We know the the Time to Shine boys need to get some rest and get regrouped, and they'll, they'll get yeah. to our stuff here mid yeah. to later this week. So um, what else are we going to do? Yeah, we got to paint... Uh, front end parts, all that uh, flip kit, okay. gadgetry stuff. Uh, we've got mirrors to put on. We finally, 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 they're on national back order, but we finally got the right moto mirrors for it. That actually look good. Uh, so we'll be installing those. Um, Dad's coming. I'm sure we're going to start cleaning. Uh, <laughs> Shop's clean. Yeah. Well, dust. There's dust yeah. on a truck, and he... He seems to always take take care of that. Uh, Got to order carpet. Yeah. Get that ordered. Um, just a oddball week, but uh, we could start doing some install stuff and uh, kind of get the ball rolling. But like she said, we we can't put sleeper on. Uh, can't put the hood on because we can't put sleeper on and things kind of got to fall back in order and, and we're just waiting on fuel tanks and, and wheels but i can uh run some wiring underneath we can put the train horns on as long as everything's off it, it makes it really easy so why would i lay on the ground and do it i might as well just true true do that and uh in the meantime in between things we can get things painted and and i'm grateful to get some more help finally uh, yeah, yeah. Well, we've got three weeks. Three weeks. Yes. I think we'll be fine. It, we're not going like super crazy. No, the, no, we're not. Just the get stereo, it done and make it workable. We just got a bunch of used stuff. I, I've had laying around forever. It's uh, it's not that old, but 
it's just things that that lay around that there's nothing wrong with i'm uh, just trying to save some money uh it, this isn't a full-blown show truck well no. more of a work truck yeah. more of a but nice yes that's kind of what we're going for yes so all right well i hope you guys enjoy the video we're gonna yeah. try to find some energy after <laughs> monday of a long weekend and uh yeah. get some stuff done I gotta answer some emails. Maybe I got one when I was gone. I don't know. Check the weather. I don't. I don't. He'll check the weather. I figure something to do with these computers mm -hmm. here. <laughs> All right. Well, enjoy the video. All right. All right. So I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. The underneath of these deck plates don't have to be body worked because what we're gonna do, you know, spray this on there with a Schutz gun. This goes down in here like this, cap comes off, screws right on. What this is is like a chip guard or a you can you can reduce noise with it, stuff stuff like that. It it makes it I don't know, easier to hide things. I've done it before on fifth wheel brackets and stuff. Those lights are bright. <laughs> and so we get under here and, and this is just we've got everything primed. Ready to body work. That's our filler primer. But we're going to save ourselves a couple steps here because I just don't see the need to take these pieces and make them look like the frame rail. We're just going to shoot them. We've got them primed. Everything was prepped, sanded. So we just put primer on it to get the paint to kind of bite down in and give it a surface. But we're going to go ahead and put this underneath here on the bottom sides of the deck plates to hide things to give it a little bit more rigidity if you call it and as long as I've got some stuff here I'm not going to paint the top sides the top sides of the deck plates are just going to stay in primer but I'm going to save a couple steps by taking this stuff because I don't have to do body work I can just paint it so we're gonna paint all this stuff purple we're gonna paint everything purple put this on the bottom of these deck plates and after this is dry this is a paintable body shuts they call it we can paint this purple too well so you can paint over that this is paintable how long do you have to leave it sit before you do that it says you don't have your glasses on and you're getting old so um, it, it says can be painted rapidly with most paints. I probably don't have most paints, but we're going to try it. Um, so let's go ahead and get this so sprayed not, on here. You're not spraying the top of the deck plates. No, right, so because speak. we're going to just sand this. out and yeah. make it smooth gotcha. like we did with the frame. So we've got one more step, but as long as we're in doing this, we're going to paint everything except for the tops. Gotcha. So everything will be painted, then we could tape all this off, flip it over, and sand the top edge smooth, and paint that in a couple days, I think, with some dash panels and a few other things. Yeah, I'm going to get but some dash got panels to our part here. Front end parts, we've got shocks, uh, mm -hmm. same with the shock box cover. We're going to put this on the back side of it, and we're going to paint the back sides of it purple. So that's done. Then all we can concentrate on is from here what the part that you see. We can sand this down, make it baby smooth, and then the paint will look really nice. But as far as shocks and all that stuff you don't see under the front end, who cares? As long as it's purple, that's fine. So you clear coat all this stuff too after you paint it, right? Yep, we'll paint yeah. it and put clear coat on it. But I'm looking at not really a speed, but an economical type way to do this instead of adding all these steps and doing everything separately we're just going to do it all at once and we're going to tape it off and then address these uh probably what is no probably not tomorrow probably the day after we'll give give this time to dry so when we lay it on on um, our work surface to sand the top side we don't screw all this up so you want it good and dry so anyways it, it can hang here for a few days but at least we get another batch of paint done. Mm -hmm. And then when 
when I go to paint this top side, I can paint that shock box cover. I can paint dash panels, um, some of the other stuff, just to keep things going and we can get the truck together. Mm -hmm. So just wanted to show you guys that. A cool. little, little extra step to hide some things. All right, I'm gonna bring you into this. We've got this done. Let's see how it looks like it's got a textured look. That's exactly what we're going after. It sprays, and if any of you have ever sprayed like drywall or anything of that, this is exactly kind of what we're trying to do. Just, so what I do is I spray, well, I started spraying this way, up and down, up and down, up and down. Then you can kind of go crossways, stand back and feather it in, if that makes sense to you. Then you can't see your, your up and down lines, otherwise all you're gonna see is up and down, up and down, up and down, even though it's underneath. But if you go over it with a cross pattern, just kind of fan it out, it looks a lot better. So we're gonna wait, oh, I don't know, half hour or so and let that tack up and we are uh we're gonna spray her see what it looks like all right All right, so next morning, <clears throat> kind of inspecting things, and this is this is what we we're going for, kind of the uh, well, textured look. I thought you had a lot of orange peel on there. No. <laughs> no. So um, that was kind of what I, what I meant by it. You could paint right over it, clear coat over it, and if you look at the other side, Nothing is painted. Reason being is we could spend a lot more time with this, and this is already taken care of. This is done. But we'll go through it. We'll sand all that, get all the imperfections off. Same with this stuff. I just put paint and clear there to, you know, to see what it looked like. But we do have some overspray from this, this texture that we sprayed on. So we're going to have to sand some of that down. No biggie, but shocks are done. We could throw those on. Um, get some stuff off of our hanging devices and put more stuff on. And we got front end parts over here. All these uh, are pieces that are involved with the bumper flip kit. These go on the truck. These are shock box brackets. Uh, this is the front piece that the bumper actually bolts to. They all look really nice to a point, um, but they don't have to look crazy because you won't really see them. They're under the truck. So the main parts we're focused on are the top sides of the deck plates. So, uh, we got some stuff knocked out, and we're going to leave this sit for today. We're going to let things just dry up, take take things down. We'll give this some attention and probably paint that tomorrow, I guess. I don't know. It's too early yet. I got my coffee. Chad doesn't go. think. He thinks it's early until like 9, 10 o'clock in the yeah. day. Yeah. Lisa I mean, likes to start early, and Chad's early is lunchtime. It's because I got to get more sleep to look as good as you. Oh, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 
that's just to show you guys kind of what what we got going on here today uh we'll get to work sounds good all right we're sneaking in to watch chad spray some clear coat because i missed everything else when he did the body work on these pieces and the painting There's the steering wheel he's spraying now. Woo, we are my shoes sticky from clear coat. Meanwhile, here's the rear panel We're behind the bunk, drilled out with uh, light holes. While Chad's spraying clear still, I just wanted to show you guys a sneak peek of the deck plate. I'm almost scared to be in here. It looks like glass and I don't want to make any dust. Man, is that gorgeous. Put my final coat of clear on. It is looking beautiful. <laughs> All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Obviously, you can see there's a little bit more life to us than the beginning of it because we were so tired after traveling from Louisville. Mm -hmm. And somebody was cold and tired, and so we were just... We were train wrecks. But hey, we had a good week. We got a lot done. Sorry this video took a little bit to come out because, well, let's face it, I was slacking. So I'll take credit for that. Yeah. Leave me all the work. Well, I helped you with the work. You got tangled up with a sawhorse, <laughs> and now I'm afraid to give you any work. <laughs> That's why your dad's back. He can help you. It's yeah, a little bit safer. He's doing a lot of the prep work and, and the taping and stuff we've always kind of done. Yeah. Um, now we're actually in the last batch, hopefully, of paint. Uh, yeah. Paint suits on, see? See? I'm yeah, he's actually, from one end to the other. actually in the middle of still painting, yeah. and, but uh, I want to... put wanna... the clear coat on yet, and that's, that we're done. We're Good done, deal. and we've got a week and a half to put this truck together. Think we can do it? I, I think we can. I just don't think we'll sleep. I mean, the last time a truck looked like this, we... We had a week and a half, and we went to Louisville, and we won. Not, it was kind of by accident, I think, but no we pressure. Did it. <laughs> yeah. As you can see, though, we do have the mirrors on behind us. Yeah, mirror brackets are on. So them got put on. Um. <laughs> Why you got the phone so high? So they can see the mirrors. Oh, okay. <laughs> but uh, lots done, and more to come. We'll try to get more videos out here as we get towards the push, but. Yeah. It's getting stressful. It's our time to shine, though. Stressful. So let's go. You don't think so? Say not new. Oh, all right. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. You know what to do. Like, subscribe, below, comment. And below? Yeah, below. Well, they're looking at the video, so oh, it's below. Okay. <laughs> like, subscribe. Follow us on Instagram. Share. You've got to share. And share it. Share. Yeah. And uh, berrytrucking.com. <laughs> Very truck in the letter N is me. Is her Instagram. Very truck in I N is me on Instagram. And then we got Very Trucking on Facebook. It, yep. Either way, you Google it and you'll find us. That's it. All right. Thanks, guys. See We're going to let him get back to clear coating. Yep.